So back with another Sega Nomad video here and you're probably getting a bit sick of these by now if you've been following my channel recently but sadly my Sega Nomad has died and no longer works so I thought what I should do is make a, a kind of quick video just to document the process of trying to get it back to life again hopefully I can uh, fix it but um, yeah just in case someone has a similar issue in future or they pick up one of these and it's got a, uh, a similar kind of problem but what I was going to do the other day was uh, make a video just to show the, the finished battery pack mod that I'd done here and I've actually completely reworked this since the, the last video I did I'm just going to show some of the improvements I've made and uh, do a video on that so I'll probably have to do that again if I can get this working but yeah basically I can get 7 hours out of this battery pack now but that's when the, the console decided to die on me I was actually running it through the, the external power jack here and I was just playing a game and I switched out the game for another one. I've got a whole bunch of new games I've been playing recently and uh, I was just going to switch the game over for the, the video just to, to use as demonstration purposes and that's when the, the console decided to die on me. So at first I thought it was maybe just the console, the, the cartridge that had a, a dirty contact or something because I'd switch it on and the screen would kind of flicker and nothing would happen. But uh, that didn't help and then I ended up totally stripping the the console apart and cleaning all the contacts and readjusting everything and nothing worked so ended up having to go online and searching for a, a kind of solution and it's kind of difficult to find technical information on these uh, consoles because they are kind of rare and um, there's not a lot of information on them so I did manage to find one uh, thread and it was a guy that had a similar issue with his and I'll, I'll leave a link and everything in the description below so you can you can check that out if you're if uh, you have a, a similar problem but um, yeah he worked out that it was probably a blown uh, voltage regulator in his console so that's what I'm going to try and uh, replace here today and the voltage regulator is basically just a, a component in the Nomad which takes the, the 12 or 9 volts whatever from the, the power supply here and basically just steps it down to uh, a nice kind of 5 volts which is what the, the Nomad basically kind of runs off so it is an old piece of hardware and I mean this is probably like 20 years old now or something and I have been playing it a lot recently and also testing it doing loads of power cycles with this with the, the battery mod that I've been doing and running it through the, the external jack here so it is likely that I've blown the the voltage regulator and, and well I'm hoping that's what it is so yeah a quick thing I'll just show you what happens when I turn this on so if I turn it on it's kind of difficult to see because of all the glare on the screen but the screen should change to black if you can make that out there it just kind of change colour slightly you can now see there's a kind of bar across there so it is getting power in some uh, form and you can also see when you turn it off the low battery light flickers but uh, one of the symptoms that the guy in that thread that I was reading had said was um, if you put in a, a battery pack with low powered batteries on it, the battery mod, it would actually work I think for that guy he said, but also the battery, the low battery light would work. So uh, what I'm going to do here is just quickly show you. Uh, I've got it set at 9 volts here, so when I turn it on at 9 volts it just flashes and nothing really happens. But if I bump this down to um, I think it was 5 volts uh, which is near enough what the, the Nomad runs on you turn it on and the low battery light comes on so that would kind of go along with uh, this other thread that I've been reading about the, the voltage regulator being blown so yeah what I'll do now is I'll just quickly replace the, the voltage regulator, I've got a couple of them here, I don't know if you can see that so it'll just be one of these I'll fit and uh, hopefully that'll get it working again, if it is I'll just quickly cut to uh, showing you what part I replaced so it's been about an hour since I recorded the first half of this video and with a bit of tinkering and trial and error I'm happy to say I managed to get the Nomad running again so I'm actually really happy about that, I'm kind of relieved so what I'll do is I'll quickly show you what I replaced on the, the motherboard here and I know it's probably not the, the most interesting topic to make a video out of, but hopefully it'll help someone in the future if they have a, a similar problem. So I'll just quickly show you what I replaced down here. I'll try and find a, a good angle to show you this. So 
That's the voltage regulator there. This is the new one I fitted. And the old one used to sit just in this white kind of box on the, the motherboard. You can see that's where the, the power jack and that's the, the power switch there. And it sits just behind those. Um, so the the faulty one, the, the old one, used to sit in that white square. And this is the new one. It's slightly bigger, so I had to kind of put it on backwards and then run wires to it there. You can see I've got a wire going over here as well. Um, but basically you've got... Um, three pins on the, the voltage regulator and then a, a large kind of tab at the back and these will all be different depending on what uh, voltage regulator you get so you need to check the, the data sheet of the particular component you get but with this one here this is the um, voltage in this middle pin here is the voltage out that's also connected to the, the back pin here or the, the kind of pad and uh, this pin here is the, the ground so on the motherboard of the Nomad, you've got three kind of pads at the top here, and I've just soldered the the wire into the the middle pad, and then I've soldered the tab of the um, voltage regulator onto the the large kind of tab that was on the, the motherboard there, and then all I did was I ran the the ground uh, wire here to a point over in the the motherboard here. If you can see that, that was just to make it a bit easier. I could have wired it round to this point just here but um, I thought it's probably a bit easier just to, to run over there but uh, yeah that's basically it and that got the the console running again and I'll leave a link to the actual component I used to uh, replace the the original in the description um, but the other thing I needed to do was just I don't know if you were able to see this I just needed to remove some of the the plastic from here because when the the nomad gets flipped back over there wasn't enough room for this to uh, to shut properly so just needed to remove um, a little bit off the, the top part of this kind of plastic circle. And just to give you an idea of scale that's the size of my finger there compared to the component. It's not the, the smallest of parts to work with but it's uh, uh, quite tricky to get in there and it did take me a bit of um, as I say trial and error and I needed to kind of work out where all the the points needed to be soldered to and um, yeah I was about, about to give up and then the last attempt I actually managed to get the whole thing running again so um, yeah it is working I'll show you in a, a future vid when I do the, the battery mod thing here I was going to show you and with this I managed to basically install you can see that's too dark I managed to install all the the charging mechanisms and everything, the mechanism as well, the charging circuitry inside the battery itself. So that's what I was originally going to do a video on, but that uh, the Nomad stopped working. But yeah, this is the, the fix. If you want to uh, fix the voltage regulator on your Nomad, you just need to replace this part here. I'll maybe take a high res photo and um, just show you the, the pins you need to solder in, leave it in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully this helps someone, so I'll catch you again soon.